I am feeling um, fine. I, I think there's there's a lot of nerves in the group. I'm a kind of a mixture of totally terrified and um, weirdly quite excited. But um, I just I just hope I can at least get one answer right. Otherwise, it's going to be really embarrassing. Do you know what? I'm actually feeling all right at the minute. Um, Ask me again when I'm just about to go on and it might be a different story. I was really nervous last night, but do you know what? You either know you know the question or you don't, so fingers crossed I'll know. Hopefully. My, my only thing is, is kind of I know the answer at home on the sofa, I've got it. But under pressure in the studio is probably just gonna be a completely different thing. My brain's just gonna go to mush. I absolutely love watching The Chase, um, all my family do. Uh, I'm a massive fan of the show and I try and answer as many questions um, as possible. And since I knew I was coming on it, I've been playing it, even like using the app on my phone. I've known, I've known Paul Sinner since before he was a chaser, uh, which one sort of makes me want to face him, but also means I know he will give me no quarter whatsoever if it's him against me. There will be no charity whatsoever. He will be even more competitive, and I don't know that I really want to bring that out of him. I quite like the idea of the Dark Destroyer. So yeah, he looks quite mean and moody, but I think he's uh, I think he's he's quite sweet underneath it all. I think today I'd really like the Dark Destroyer. I love watching. I love watching them all. Don't get me wrong, because I'm a massive fan of the show, but. Yeah, I think I like Sean Wallace. I, I, I'm hoping to avoid the governess, um, merely because I think she is, um, she seems to me to be the best. I think I'm most scared of Anne. She utterly terrifies me and I would not stand a chance. So hopefully not Anne. Anne, definitely. I'm, I'm, I think I'll be most scared of Anne, without a shadow of a doubt. And I don't even know why. I think just because. She just scares me when I watch it at home. I really hope that I don't get anything about sport, because I've just not got a clue. Sport, um, sort of fashion, not got a clue. Um, history, not got a clue. Geography, not got a clue. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, main, I think my worst subject would be sport, so I'm just hoping that doesn't come up too often. This is my, my problem, is I occasionally appear to be more clever than I am, because I know really weird things, but then I don't know things that everyone else knows. So actually, I'm quite stupid. Certainly, please don't ask me about politics or anything like that, or kings and queens, because I just will be like, pass, pass, pass. I've got no idea. I'm hoping we can get Bradley so giggly that it's infectious enough for the chaser to go, and then pull it back together, but leave the chaser slightly stranded in a giggling zone. That's the... Uh... Fingers crossed. I, I am the world's worst at giggles as well. I, it's so and it's so contagious. So if Bradley goes, that's it. I've had it. I have had it. I'm gonna have zero chance of keeping it together. Um, and then that's it, isn't it? Because you just degenerate into like a jelly kind of lump. So um, yeah. So hopefully there won't be too much of that until I've got the money in the bank. I'm a terrible twinkler. So like at work, if anything goes wrong, I'm the first to laugh, and it can take me quite a while to recover as well. So. I will, if he laughs, I will laugh even more. So tactically, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I think I'm just going to have to play it by ear when I'm out there. And it depends. If I've just gone into like frozen amoeba mode, it's probably best I play it very safe and kind of retract as far as possible. Um, but if somehow, you know, inspiration's kicked in and I'm confident I'm doing well, I might just go for the big money. My instinct is, is to play it safe. I think I'm the fourth, fourth up. Which, which sort of gives me more of a decision to make because I'll know what's gone on before we get there. Um, and they'll all be, you know, the, the pressure is on because if I sit there saying to other people you can't take a negative offer and then it gets to me, then I've sort of set my stall out. And if I sit there encouraging everyone to go for the big money, I've said, you know, I'd like, so I feel a bit of pressure on that side of it, for sure. I think I will probably go for the middle offer rather than, I certainly don't want to take the lower offer because uh, I think everyone would kill me at home uh, and the higher offer I don't know I might get carried away in the moment I might just go for it but no I probably won't I think I'll just play safe can't believe that what a relief who would have thought we'd pulled it out of a bag somehow <laughs> amazing brilliant oh my 
my goodness! Over the moon. But it's a big Ab win. Absolutely. I'm feeling great. It's always great to win, as you know. Uh, to win 25 grand for your charity is fantastic. I can't wait to ring them and to hear what they have to say. They'll be so over the moon. It'll be marvellous. I thought I'd be. Um, I thought she'd be more on my tails at the end of my my uh, round to win, bring the 83 back. I thought that was going to be a little bit. Um, or 86, whatever it was. Um, yeah, I thought she was. Um, I'm surprised she was still two away from me at the end. Yeah. Very surprised. Very, very surprised. Do you know what? Absolutely fantastic. We've got £25,000 each now for the charities. It's just, it's unbelievable. That was such an exhilarating experience. Absolutely elated. I can't, I can't believe it. You know, we kind of had all these highs and lows. We all started off, oh my God, how are we going to do this? We're never going to get anything. And, um, you know, and then we all did so well. Dave kind of really made it for us. So, I mean, he did awesomely. But then then when we got to 19, I thought that's it, we're never going to catch up. And then, what do you know, Disney Princess? I'm feeling irritated, but not actually hard done by, but I will be back, like Arnie. Where'd you get them? In Italy. You know when actors fall upon hard times? <laughs> Why haven't you got any socks on? <laughs> I tell you what, you pass as an Italian. Yeah. You look, this you is look. the new look. I'm, I'm cultivating this new Italian.